hello everyone so today we are going to work on updating this uh, shooter project that we have developed over over 333 episodes into unreal engine 5.31 so here is the updated version so let me demonstrate so everything is working correctly we did encounter some issues with the AI systems and some issues with the menu so there are some changes in the functions of the AI perception in 5.3 so I have addressed that as well and overall these are working so in this map uh, actually there are two parties and enemies are spawned and this red team and yellow team is fighting each other meanwhile both of these teams are hostile to the player character so they are shooting me as well so we have this a lot of features actually in this project so we are going to update this project into 5.3 and fix all the issues that we encounter today uh, by the way i'm sure you already know but you can download this project and all other thousands of projects that I have done in my channel in the Patreon page once you become a member. So feel free to check it out. To the date, there are over 1600 something videos that I have done and for each video I have released the project files for you to use with your games. So once you become a member, you can download all of them without a limit. And let's get back to the today's topic. Okay, so this is the project. Let me open, wait. Let me right click and show more options. Switch Unreal Engine version. So at the moment it's in 5.1. I'll switch to 5.3. Okay. Now you see it's generating project files because I have some C++ project, uh, C++ code that I use as the variant class of the uh, main character class. We did that because we need to change the AI perception system to detect the head instead of detecting the middle of the body. So that's why I have a custom C++ class uh, because we do some overriding of those functions related to that all right then seems all right um, let's give it a second to load the project oh is anything happening maybe not maybe let me just open again maybe it's just build the project files build the source generate the source and stuffs there all right now I got this, the following models are missing or built with a different engine version. Would you like to rebuild them now? Yes. By the way, in order to rebuild, you need to have uh, C++ Visual Studio installed in your machine. Otherwise, Unreal can't build the source. And if you haven't done so, you can uh, check how to install and set up Visual Studio for Unreal Engine in this page. All right. Uh, project is loaded. Let's see. Oh, we got Terras. Okay. Let's see what are the. get perceived actors from this uh, perception site day well get perceived yeah i think we should use this get perceived hostile actors by sense oh wait actually we got two functions now get perceived hostile actors 
so this one should be written in um, perceived actors from all the components so here since we didn't have such a function before I think I had to use this uh, AI perceived actor from different types of sensors sight oh no not really we are only still only using sight but with different components sight day sight alerted sight night all right so that means this is the one we need to use and this sense sight okay we can't refresh this no right all right what else Uh, actually that's all let's compile all right where else we had errors widget controls and widget key right what are the errors here is player mappable what's this Enhanced input key mapping. Can I refresh? Let's break. Oh, now we don't have this mappable option. So uh, I use this this variable to determine uh, the key mappings that that are allowed to customize because some keys like escape or some things that we should not allow changing for example uh, the keys that may be related to menu and things like that so how do we determine that maybe there is an option to get only the mappable ah yeah Get all player mappable action key mappings. Nice. Okay. So this should do the trick. So this should only return the keys that we can map. That means we can customize them. All right. So that means this part is redundant okay this is complete oh we have the same thing here um here we use player memorable option name right i guess this is also gone mm, let me break again we have action key Uh, right let's try this display name instead of this one right uh, actually we can use this okay all right now let's try to play i think this uh still compiled because i feel some lag uh let's check settings not main menu settings Wave distance is not there. Okay. Controls. Ah, controls are not there. Mm. 
uh so but yeah those things we need to fix what about the other parts oh he got an error option levels why did i get this uh four Maybe it was trying to enable cinematic quality. Low, medium, high, cinematic. Maybe that's why, but I'm not sure. From where do we call this? From outside. Is it two zero zero? Mm, I can't find where we get the number four. So therefore, let's do something like this. Let's have a branch. Uh, this is only for debug purposes. If this is greater than the length. of the option levels if it is false we can set it if it is true let's do a print string in red with a longer time and I'll print out the option name get text maybe we need some additional information Invalid option level. This one. Okay. Settings. Well, that is not printed anywhere. Hmm. Oh, sorry. This is not the condition. If the levels is less than larger than or equal, that's the condition. Settings. Oh, we listen. Okay. So how are we getting a value larger than four for the view distance? Hmm. It should be in the graphics option. Let's see. Uh, let's also print the level as well so that we have a better idea what do we get for the level oh sorry four Okay, so we do have the level for 0 to 4 for the view distance. So, but it does not match. 0 means low, 1 means medium, uh, 
two means high, three means epic. Those are the things that we use. Okay, does that mean we should enable epic two? Sorry, cinematic. Let's enable that also. That should fix the issue. But I'm not sure that would introduce problems to the other parts of the Yeah, this is cinematic. Okay. What about this? Oh, now we have cinematic for these options also. Right? Okay. So that works. All right. Problem. Good. So AI systems are still, wait, are they not seeing me? Found him, okay, but they are not shooting at me for some reason. Hmm. Right, that's a major problem I should have looked into before, before trying out these options. Uh, well, this is a definitely a problem, this should be connected like this, I think. That doesn't answer why that will not solve the problem why they are not getting starting to shoot no ah. let's open the behavior tree ah, this is detecting and once the detecting is completed we should be going to shoot it okay I think it would be easier for me to test if I have a different, uh, simpler level. So, levels, test test. Ah, uh, well, no. Let me just delete some of these enemies. Do we have spawners here oh yeah so yeah let's go to the test level here also we have multiple enemies so uh, let's test five three Let me just delete these enemies. Right. Now we can easily debug the situation. Okay. So the thing is, let me place the behavior tree and the game side by side. Okay, I'm starting to get detected. What's happening? So when I starting to get detected, this detecting should be set. And it says detecting is false here. For some reason, let me do it. Oh, sorry, we have another enemy. Okay, so I even got the take cover bark as well 
Well, takeover is actually bark from major noise, but on his C we have found him here over there. Okay. So as I can see, the problem is this uh, locked actor is not set for some reason. So this update target actor, which is uh, this is where we set the target actor and locked actor as these variables inside the AI blueprint and as these uh, blackboard variables. So I, since we, uh, so here we use this get closest enemy as the target actor. So the way we calculate it is, uh, this part I just added, the way we calculate this is, we get the, all the actors pursued by the AI sense components and find out what's the closest one who is the closest and we had to change these variables and i i had a hunch like maybe we don't get a value here so and turns out that was the case so here you see perceived actors zero if you don't see it let me increase so here i simply print the length of this perceived actor array which I use to calculate the get the closest perceived actor and that is zero see okay so that's why we don't that's why the enemies don't start shoot the enemies don't start shooting so the problem should be with this so maybe this is wrong so let's try actors get actors get currently perceived actors okay let's try that we need some space Ah, uh, be Yeah, great. Okay. Nice. Let's check these uh, other some of the other weapons too. Cam shake is not working, it seems. problem there is a problem with cam but that's not a big concern at the moment uh, we anyway we have this effect where we... oh so yeah I wanted to test the how the enemies react to other enemies before looking into any other details
I need to remove that perceived actor. Print I added. And uh, yeah, overall the project is working. Now when Unreal, with Unreal 5.3 without, uh, so far we didn't encounter any crashes. So things should be working fine. Let's also check one of those levels that we created. Oh, here we have the chopper as well. So, right, these are my allies, so it's working. Things are working good enough so yeah overall everything is fine and we need to fix that uh, controls not having an issue but I will address that uh, when I update the menu system because the menu system I am using is the menu system that I implemented separately so I need to update that project as well and then I will integrate that change into here so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for download in the Patreon page, link would be in the description below and see you in another episode. And if you also found some other problems with the shooter project in the update, feel free to let me know. I will try to fix them.